So, hello, hello. We want, we want to get started on time because we have a lot to cover today. Uh, so, for any of you whom I don't know, I'm Jane Clark. I'm the CEO, Managing Director of SIM. And uh, SIM, if anyone doesn't know, is the Coalition for Innovative Media Measurement. And I'd like to warmly welcome all of you to our seventh annual Cross-Platform Media Measurement and Data Summit. Now, as I said last year, you would think we would have solved this measurement challenge by now. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that we are making progress. Uh, we, we actually are, and we'll talk about that. But there is still a lot more work to do. And I was thinking about this yesterday. It's kind of like trying to change drivers in a car while it's still driving on the freeway, and the replacement driver is still in the back seat. <laughs> So, you know, most of you know that um, SIM is a coalition of buyers and sellers of TV and video media. Uh, we collaborate on proof of concept pilot tests for new measurement tools. We champion industry improvements and innovation that might require patience and multi-year efforts. We keep members up to date on the changing landscape and very importantly, we just keep the dialogue going about how to manage change, uh, which often gets bogged down in the business interests of individual companies. So I'd like to shout out a big thank you to all the SIM members who give their time and talents to push forward important industry innovation, most of which you'll hear about today. So as you know, SIM's mission is to foster innovation in cross-platform media measurement and to bring more granular measurement to TV, you know, which covers two major transformations in media today. Now, most of you have also seen this slide, which is the roadmap that we've been following since the beginning. Now, Patty Wakeling's here, I was saying, she might even be the author of this roadmap. Um, so we're supporting the development and testing of cross-media solutions for planning, buying, and evaluating the impact of content and ag campaigns. Now, at the same time, these solutions are rapidly evolving into data management platforms for creating audience segments using media exposure data connected in privacy-compliant ways with behavioral and purchase data, both first- and third-party data, these segments can now be used for planning ad buys in linear TV, as well as digital video in programmatic platforms. And additionally, they can be used after a campaign for attribution and ROI analysis. You know, so media research used to be about panels and surveys, but increasingly it's about data science, data lakes, artificial intelligence, machine learning. So how is the industry managing these challenges? Um, a couple years ago, SIM created um, a measurement manifesto to just write down what it is that we want. So it's in the packet that you all have at your table. And we're constantly tracking you know, industry performance against these goals and action steps. And you can see that the goals really haven't changed that much. So it's not only to create these big databases, these big data platforms I just mentioned, but to be able to use them efficiently in close to real time to enable greater ag campaign optimization, to have comparable metrics across media. You know, it's a tall order, but this is what we need. You know, and as far as the steps to get there, you know, we're still advocating for competition, you know, amongst research and technology vendors. It's the only way we get innovation. Um, we support the MRC cross-media measurement standards for content and ad impressions, which you'll hear more about today. You know, we all want media measurement to be as passive as possible. And we want to combine census data with calibration panels, you know, to improve accuracy where necessary until we find better solutions you know, potentially from artificial intelligence. You know, so additionally, we support creating representative TV exposure data sets, you know, by combining smart TV data now and set-top box data. You know, we also want out-of-home TV and video measurement. 
We want to measure and link data from individuals and households in privacy compliant ways. We demand transparency from third party data providers and providers of cross media identity linking solutions. And we want to standardize the identifiers that we use throughout the whole cross media workflow with IDER entertainment ID registry codes for content and ad ID for ads. So, how is the industry doing? Uh, there is a chart in your packet, which we update every year, from, um, that, that compares the leading cross-media solutions in the marketplace, both from Comscore and from Nielsen. And from those, you can see that the industry collectively, you know, is actually making progress, even though the goal may no longer be kind of a one-size-fits-all solution. You know, many of these accomplishments have come to fruition in the past year. We are getting closer to complete cross-platform measurement of content, you know, especially with Nielsen's new SVOD measurement. And the uh, ability to integrate data from third-party video distributors, such as Hulu and YouTube. But there's still significant gaps. You know, there's been more set-top box and smart TV data brought into measurement solutions. And these are being used not only to improve local TV measurement, but also for verifying ad exposure. And this has been a major improvement in the last year. This has significantly improved TV and cross-media attribution measurement. We'll hear more about that on some of the uh, attribution panels later. Now, the MRC published its digital audience measurement standard and has launched its cross-media standard, which includes this controversial aspect of duration-weighted ad impressions, and we'll hear more about that later today. Now, the IAB has mostly completed work on an open standard SDK for viewability, and Nielsen's introduced out-of-home TV measurement by combining data from the portable people meter uh, radio measurement panel um, with their in-home national people meter TV panel. Now, not all these solutions are perfect, um, but we're taking steps in the right direction to fill in some of these gaps. Now, SIM, the ARF, the Forays, the DMA, the IAB are all collaborating to introduce greater disclosure and transparency about characteristics of third-party data, which is cr critical in this new big data world via this idea of a data label that provides transparency of the source of the data. Um, but we still lack complete measures of cross-media unduplicated reach because we can't completely and accurately link identity across media or their privacy concerns about doing it or necessary data are being withheld by wall gardens. So what is SIM doing to accelerate the measurement manifesto? In 2017, we worked our initiatives through five committees. We have advanced TV, cross-media, attribution, kids and teens, and standardizing media identifiers. And here's what we've done so far. Uh, today, we're releasing two studies, and they're in your packets. Uh, one aims to demystify attribution and media mix modeling providers by comparing them on the same criteria. So this handy guide was created by Sequent Partners in collaboration with the 4A's Media Measurement Task Force. So later today, Jim and Alice will introduce this to you and moderate a panel discussion. And the second study will be released during our closing keynote from Artie Balgren, who just completed interviews with industry thought leaders to understand the challenges in the new MRC cross-media measurement standard, particularly to address whether or not we're ready for ad impression measurement for both TV and digital video. We'll also hear today from the MRC along with the ANA and the 4As to set up this challenge for us. There are also two SIM products that are not being, I mean uh, projects I should say, not being showcased today because they're still in the works. Um, so they will come to fruition in 2018. One is this new open standard audio watermark that enables binding directly into video of standardized identifiers. Ad IDs for ads and IDER for program content. And additionally, the watermark can bind time codes and IDER's extensive library of video service distributor IDs. 
So we call this initiative TAXI for trackable asset identification across platforms. Now, Cantar Media has almost completed the final stages of approval and publication of this standard from the Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers. And we recently conducted a technical pilot test at the Fox Media Lab. So we'll be scheduling workshops soon for those interested in innovating on this standard. But in order for this to work, advertisers need to register your ads with Ad ID, and media companies need to register your content with ITER. So find the people in your companies who handle media asset labeling and introduce them to Harold Geller of Ad ID. Um, and the new executive director of ITER, Will Kreff. Are you here, Will? Not here yet. Not here yet. Okay. Um, and also Paul Mears, I think, is here, who's Sims consultant on this. So reach out to any of them. They can point you to Will's direction also, uh, and they can answer your questions. Um, and the, the proof of concept pilot test is actually up on our website also. So additionally, we're still trying to crack the code on complete cross-media measurement for kids and teens. You know, this is um, a really critical group to understand their behavior, and they require passive panel measurement due to this need for parental consent to share digital usage data and their tendencies towards noncompliance. <laughs> um, so we've been testing all the passive new technologies, you know, from router meters to mobile device meters for digital measurement, facial recognition, automatic content recognition for TV measurement, and we're confident that we'll find a scalable solution soon. Um, so far, we've been working with Reality Mine uh, in the UK and Dan Schiffman and his team. I think Dan's here today from T Vision Insights. There he is in the back. So we'll be moving all these initiatives to the next phase in 2018. And I'm confident that there'll be a uh, data, an industry wide data label. Uh, we need research to support the new MRC cross-media measurement standard as these new methods for TV and cross-media attribution analysis are being developed. We still need to sort out these kinks. There's a bunch of these companies emerging that can combine granular TV and digital d uh, exposure data. And there are lots of applications that um, we want to build on to uh, adopt this standardized identifiers for content and ads. So um, as you see throughout today's presentations and discussions, you know, many of these tools necessary for scaled cross-media measurement have been identified, many are being built. But as we build these tools of necessity, the business implications <laughs> need to be considered. So on that note, it's time to kick off today's program. So note that the agenda and the bios for all the presenters are in your packet. All the presentations and the reports will be posted to the SIM website by the end of the day. We'll even have videos posted to the site within a week or so for your time-shifted VOD enjoyment.